Okay, so whenever I make a new video about narcissism, I don't ever want to be repetitive. So I'm going to jump straight into it. Um, the way that narcissists mess with your memory, I feel as though they hide your stuff or they tell you that you don't remember the series of events. I can't tell you how I've like caught my ex kind of lying about things that took place when we were drunk because the next day there would be like some line of proof that what happened in his point of view didn't happen like that. Um, but me being intoxicated, it's easy to be like, no, it happened like this. Um, there was days where I didn't get as drunk as him. So when the next day he remembered a different truth than I did, I'd be like, have you been lying to me this whole time? Because I was just completely blasted off of alcohol. That's when I stopped feeling as comfortable getting drunk around him. Because the one time where I actually wasn't as drunk and I caught on to a lie, I was like, you've been being lied to on a consistent basis because you were like drunk. Another thing he would do was my bar, my bar, I would have set my phone on the bar and he would always put it in his pocket. And I did tell him to stop doing that, but he and he would still do it. And the reason why I don't like it is because number one, this individual has went through my phone. I'm like, is he just putting his, putting my phone in his pocket so he can like duck off and just invade my privacy? Or is he literally just being, doing what narcissists do? Moving your stuff around so that you have to communicate with them like where's my stuff if anybody lives with a narcissist please tell me if you can confirm this do they move your stuff around so that it drives you insane uh that's stressful um my thing is is like when my ex would go through my phone and invade my privacy he would know information about me that I didn't know that he knew. And he would, he would use that information against me uh, whenever there was an argument that took place. He would be like, well, you did this. Now, remember in my last video, I said, I kept it honest with this person. I said, I don't want to be with you. Now, we still kept, you know, interacting with each other, you know, as exes do sometimes. But that doesn't mean you get to go through somebody's phone and make them feel like crap because they're entertaining other individuals you you don't get to do that like that's just not cool like I wouldn't do that to anybody like anytime a man has told me oh I'm gonna go explore my options but if you want to stick around you can stick around I understand exactly what that means it means I am not going to be loyal to you because you are not my girl you are not my spouse that's fine so what you are able to do is be like oh okay you're not for me I'm gonna walk away or you're going to be okay with the mixed warner options and you're going to still be in a picture but yeah he would also say things like oh nobody's gonna love you the way that i love you and he's like um everybody talks crazy about you so i'm the only one that cares about you when in reality that's not true i have family members that care about me and i also knew that at the time like i, I was never letting that get to my head and I, I would call him out on it i'm like you just can't simply say that i said that's super trash of you to say um so moving on oh finding a way to be seen but not seem like a stalker he would do little things like he would show up at my job at like 5 30 knowing that i started at six or he would be there like i don't know for a couple of hours and I would come in at like six o'clock and he'd still be there. So I'd have to interact with him, but he would use the excuse of, oh no, I was just here before you got here. You know what time I work. I told you to not come to my job because I don't want to see you. So you use an excuse to still kind of watch me. Or he would come downstairs from his apartment and like ask for water, ask for little things. Be like, oh, I'm just going to eat this sandwich right here. Like unnecessary stuff. And that's why I was like, I know I'm being watched. I know I'm being watched. But he would use subtle scenarios where he could get away with watching me without seeming like he was. So another point I was going to make 
narcissists don't even love themselves so they don't have any room to love you that's just obvious this guy had a lot of insecurities he didn't have a financial state he's 39 and didn't have his finances together so I feel like he was trying to drag me down with him because I'm 25 going on 26 next month so I feel like he just wanted me to die with him and I just wasn't going to do that Flying monkeys, back to flying monkeys, like what I was saying, um, people coming up to you because your narcissist was talking about you behind your back. And like I told you guys, he would say nice things about me so that people would come and report. And he would also tell them, go back and report back to Dawson what I said to you. So don't be a flying monkey. If you're a flying monkey and some guy that is doing your friend dirty or your, your sister or brother or whatever, or some girl or guy is doing your friend dirty, do not report back. You literally are being a flying monkey. So yeah, the definition of a flying monkey is somebody who hears information and then reports back and adds to the manipulation tactics of the manipulator or abuser or whatever the narcissist. They strengthen the narcissist game. That's all they're doing. You're, you're literally the middleman. You're the... You're the dove. You're the you're the, the you're the mail carrier. You deliver the mail. Okay, and then talking about sex publicly. This is how I knew that like my narcissist did not respect me because he would publicly say like, "Oh, I'm going to like go down on Dawson when I get home." Like it kind of like degraded my womanhood. Like. He thought that that was like a good way to like flatter me. And it wasn't. It would make me uncomfortable. Even when he did it in public, he'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll eat you right now. I was like, I'm a lady. Like, you can't even like say that in front of people. Like, I did not like that at all. But I hope this added more context because I don't want to make this video too long. This was just things that were uh, going on in my head. I don't know. Maybe I'll have more updates later, but um, my mind has been wandering. I just wanted to get that off my chest.